Hi there, my name is Jasmine. I'm working as a senior system engineer at Tesla. We, one of the global leaders in backup and recovery, helps you to avoid downtime and meet SLAs. If you are running Hyper-V or VMware, you know how important it is to do backup of your VMs. On one side, you have a VM that does backup of your VMs. On another side, you have a PRTG that does monitoring of your complete infrastructure, including VM backup server and backup jobs. I would like to show you how you can monitor your VM backup server and backup jobs using PRTG. So let's go to the PRTG UI. PRTG provides you with two native sensors for monitoring of your VM backup server. But before we add a sensor, there are two things we need to do. The first thing, we need to be sure that we are running uh, VM Enterprise uh, Manager and Enterprise Plus license. And the second thing, we need to create an account in Veeam uh, console and add it to the PRTG. Once we do that, then we should be able to add all the sensors. I will navigate to my Veeam backup server in, in PRTG. First thing, as I said, we need to add credentials. So I go to my device, then I go to the settings, and, I, and then I scroll down to add credentials. So we need to add username, password, and be sure that the port 9398 is open, because that's the way how PRTG communicates with the Veeam Enterprise Manager. Then we go back to device, and now we're going to add these two sensors. I'll click on the plus, add sensor, and I will type Veeam. So PRTG has two sensors. The one sensor is Veeam Backup Job Status that uh, monitors the all backup jobs running in the last 24 uh, hours. And then we have Veeam Advanced Sensor that can monitor the specific backup jobs. First, I will add Veeam Backup Job Status Sensor. I'll click on Add. There is no initial configuration needed. And then I'll just click on Create. OK, now I will go to the sensor. I will do a scan, and we see that this sensor is up and running. So there are different channels available. We have job uh, runs failed, it says zero. Job runs finished, two, which means there are two backup jobs that are finished. Uh, job runs running, zero. Job runs successful, two. Job runs warning, zero, there are no any problems. And job scheduled, two, which means that two backup jobs are scheduled directly in the Veeam. Now we're going to go to the uh, device again, and I will click on the plus to add a second sensor. I will type Veeam, and then I will add advanced sensor. PRTG will do a meta scan, and it will query Veeam server to see what backup jobs are available. In our case, we can see there are two backup jobs available. One is for Linux Ubuntu server, and the second one is for Windows Server 2022. So I will add both of them. So I will select them, and then I will click on Create. PRTG will create a sensor for each of these backup jobs. So I will click on Scan, and we can see that these sensors are up and running. As they are the same, I will open Windows Server 2022. Okay, we can see that the last backup session finished on 25th of August 2022. And we have a different channels here. We have a duration. Duration is 57 seconds. Uh, job scheduled. Yes, this job is well, scheduled directly in, in Veeam. Then we have last job run, it's 2 hours 37 minutes. And then have, we have a last result, it was successful, and the status is stopped because it's not running at the moment. So these are two sensors I wanted to show with you. I also brought an article that explains the procedure of monitoring of your Veeam server. So you can go on our blog and check it out there. Thank you for watching this video. I highly recommend you to subscribe to our channels, check other tutorials, and if you have any questions, please write us to support at Thank you.